let me introduce myself. My name is Eliana Nadiasari, and I am a student of Master Program in Mathematic Education Study Program at Sanata Dharma University. And on this occasion, I will present our article written by me and my friends, Dewi Isabella Palma, and our article discuss about an analysis of distance learning activities to teach collaboration skill of undergraduate students of Mathematics Education Study Program. For introductions, distance learning is learning that is carried out separately between students and educators, that means not face-to-face -face in person, where learning is designed to using communication tools or learning management media such as WhatsApp, Zoom, Moodle, and so on. And actually, the concept of distance learning has begun to be developed before the COVID-19 pandemic. And on the other side, in the 21st century, there are competencies that must be mastered by students from an early age called 21st century competencies and the four competencies are critical thinking, communications, collaborations, and creativity. One of the important competencies of the 21st century is collaborations. And collaborations is the ability to work effectively and respectfully with diverse teams, exercise flexibility and willingness to assist in making the necessary compromises to achieve common goals and responsibility for joint work and respect for the individual contributions made by its member of the groups. And collaborations is important because a large group of diverse individuals will produce better estimates and collaborations can create knowledge for many people. And based on this, learning that support collaborations will have a good impact on student learning. And the method used on this research, this type of research is descriptive qualitative and the source of this research data is the result of literature review supported by interviews with lecture and surveys with students on the mathematics education study program. And data collection methods are literature review, direct interviews methods and surveys method. And the results, according to Simonses et al. in 2015, there are four characteristics of distance learning. First, distance learning is carried out by accredited institutions equivalent to institutions that offer traditional face-to-face -face learning. And second, learner and teacher are separately geographically and perhaps even time so accessibility and convenience are essential in this distant learning third interactive telecommunications connect students with each other and also connect students with teachers and the last distance learning also creates a learning communi community consisting of students teachers and learning research such as books module videos and others and also, there are three indicators of collaboration skills. First, cooperation and interdependence to achieve common goals, such as cooperation in groups, discussions, active contributions, and flexibility. Second, being responsible for its other learning and behavior, such as being responsible for works and working productively. And last, implementing cohesive work activities such as being able to adapt, communicate well, and value others. We also had interview with lecturer on private university and the questions we asked are developed based on the indicator of collaboration skills and the results we found that the online learning activities that are designed by the lecturers required collaboration skills from students to carry out some learning activities or assignment and the learning media that used on the learning activities is just depends on the type of activity and task being designed for example its small group provide a by a forum on zoom such as a breakout room to facilitate student discussions and the activities carried out are to divide students into small groups and it is also offered that 
in a small group. There is a group leader to organize activities and tasks in the group to solve problems or projects. And there are peer-to-peer -peer feedback activities that facilitate students to be able to convey ideas, correct, observe, and make comments, and assess fellow students. And the culture applied in distance learning is to support the, the development of collaborations, that is a culture of learning and culture of mutual respect. Also, there are the assessment uh, carried out by the lecturer in assessing learning activities that require cooperation. First, the assessment of contributions between peers. This assessment contains a range of score from 1 to 5 to read its friend in group. And this means that every student have to do a peer review so it helps the lecturer to see how much the contributions of its students in the group. And second, assessment in the form of frequency in classical discussion. Then, the activity carried out is that the lecturer asks one of the student's ideas and the other student who have a different answer or ideas are welcome to respond to comments or comments on the answer. Furthermore, to find out the effectiveness of the learning activity designed by the lecturer, a questionnaire was distributed to students who took course taught by the lecturer, and the results obtains all three indicators of collaboration ability. First, the percentage of students' ability to work together and express opinion in group is 100%. And all students state that they offer to share a work or assignment on the groups. And all students also state they could accept and appreciate the work of its group member. And most students also felt adaptable to group member, although there are some students that were unable to adapt. And for the conclusions, the things that need to be considered in designing learning activities to teach student collaboration skills are dividing students into groups, either through instruction directly or from, from the selections of answer given, and media that support students to provide responses, ideas, comments, and so on, both in the form of video conference forums and so on and instructions on feedback activities. Culture, built into learning activities such as culture of learning and culture of mutual respect. And these four things are found to be able to help teach student collaborative abilities as measured by three indicators. And that's all my presentations of our article I apologize if there's any mistakes and thank you so much for your attention.